What's up guys, back for another video. I just wanna make a real quick one about the Apple Watch right here. So, um, this, I may be getting a new one soon because it's just, I'm gonna have to review it in this update video. Um, this is about three and a half years old now. Um, and it is, the battery does die really fast. So it's right now at 100. By morning, it'll be at like 40 and it won't get much through the day. When I first got this, it would be at 100 and about 80 to 90 in the morning and survive easily till the next night where I plug it in or even longer. So it is definitely going down in the battery. The screen is scratched, but it's just seen um, a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Let's first go in. You can see we get notifications there. This hasn't been on all day, so I just had to place it on the charger. If we scroll down to battery oop not accessibility battery it's going to show us what we're charged to we can go to battery health scroll down to some capacity it's 85 percent so um that is technically not bad but i feel like it's a little lower than that as it is dying way faster although the battery is smaller in this device than um you know iphones but <clears throat> especially iPads. But anyway, let's take a look at the device itself. So this might be one of the last videos on this device, so I want to kind of get in detail here. Here's the device itself. I should remember what way I got these going here. Like that, it goes down like that. And in. So these are just magnetic clips. They slide right in. And slide right out with the click of that little button there. I think they're just magnetically attached, but permanently. Um, but the device itself, if I can get it to stay off, you can see the screen does have them fair scratches. I can clean it. it doesn't really clean very well. Um, if I can get it to shut off there. Yeah, you can kind of see it scratches there. The aluminum on it is scratched. It's kind of turning white right there dents on the side. The back though is obviously pretty good. It hasn't fell on the back. Um, these are new watch bands as my old one did rip, but I got new ones a long time ago, so that's kind of an update on those. Let's make sure we slide it in by pushing it correctly into this hole. See, I can't look in my camera. I can't see it. There we go. It's in the hole and it is clicked in. Let's take this other one, put it in the hole, and click it in. They're both in there. And it can be put on correctly. Um, but it does work very well. Still, I can still do multiple things like send texts um, and do other things like that. So that's kind of nice. It's nice when I don't have my phone or I have my phone in my pocket or something doing something and I get a notification, comes right up there and I can check it or respond to it as needed. Um, you can do workouts, check your calendar, and everything just from your, your watch there. So you can even check the weather now with the Apple Watch Better Weather app. So if we go in there like there, it takes a while to load on the Apple Watch, but there it is. Um, you can kind of see around your, your conditions there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's been a long time since I posted. I've just been so busy. And this is just going to be a quick one. I kind of just wanted to show you guys that, how this looks after about three and a half years. And it does look pretty great. Your biggest concern with having one of these that long, it's going to be your battery life by far. Um, the, the battery in here does last a long time, but it is pretty small. So once the battery health does start declining, it's going to go pretty fast. And this is 85. I'd be scared to see what 80 is or what 75 is. Probably wouldn't work much more than an hour. Probably wouldn't even finish track and sleep. So definitely, if your concern is gonna be battery with these, definitely plan to upgrade them if you use them a lot. Um, more often because the batteries are gonna be the first thing to fail um, or go bad quicker in your Apple Watch, unless you're really destructive with it and smash it on a rock or somehow water damage them. Then, Excuse me. Then you would be um, in for some damage. Although this has been through some rock damage, um, I have dropped it. I've fell off my bike and scraped it. 
um, and it's it's perfectly fine. I thought it would definitely have had some damage after a couple of them scrapes. I didn't give it, but you can click there and kind of see all your weather things. Visibility feels like precipitation, wind, whatever that is, visibility, humidity, air quality, and clear. You can do this for any location in the Apple Watch. Kind of just click on them there and it'll show you your statistics. And the feels like temperature, I gotta put a little pressure on mine too for some reason. The feels like kind of glyphs you a design there if it's 50 in this place. Um, then it's going to kind of have that warmer thing up top. If I go to here and click it, it's blue, which means it's cold. If we go to let's go here, ooh, it's yellow and orange. So it's kind of a cool little thing going on there. I'm, I'm guessing that zero would do the same thing, and the air quality already does it. So you can see here, the air quality is a little orange. Um, and here... The air quality is 48 and um, green. So that's kind of cool. You can also open your your kind of picker there and choose what you want to see. Conditions, etc. So it is kind of it's kind of nice to have this just available to you right there. You can even set alarms, stopwatches, clocks, anything like that you'd want to set. Set a one minute timer and there you go. Just simple as that. If you're cooking something and you want a quick timer, it's just as simple as a simple click. And just starting a new alarm is even as easy as just hitting the plus and using this, clicking here, and using this to kind of choose your time. So it's kind of nice if you're um, cooking, you can have multiple alarms going, you can add an alarm. We've already got one going there. We can add five minutes and go back here and see our going alarms. So it's kind of nice to have this available to you. These do work well. Um, and your biggest concern after... Um, the years of owning one of these is going to be, if you're not gentle with things, a damaged display or damaged piece or something fell off the thing. See, you can see here in the crown there, it is completely silver now, not black anymore. It is not black on the top, but on the side it's completely silver just from the use and the scratches that it has got over the years. Your Apple Watch is going to get a lot of scratches, you're going to hit it on rocks, you're going to fall and scrape it. So there is cases for them but you're gonna have some damage for sure. Um, although they're very strong and they refuse to crack, I have not been able to crack it, and I have unfortunately done some pretty bad things. I've fell off my bike and it's fell on rocks. Um, that actually ruined one of my old watch pans. But this device stayed working, and that one, ma at matter of fact, has a permanent mark. It's that scrape that scratched down the screen there when I fell on a rock. So it kind of did scratch it, but that's surprisingly all. I fell and slid quite a ways. My legs and hands were all bloody, but my watch was fine. So, yeah. Um, but it's really nice for sleep tracking. I don't think I could show you since I wasn't wearing it last night. Um, but you can kind of see here it shows you your sleep duration, if it was an increase or decrease. So it's really nice to have, excuse me, for um, these situations. So anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. If you're owning an Apple Watch for more than two years, the battery is going to be a concern. I don't know how the Apple Watch Ultras are, but I know a lot of people that just have these type, and I don't want the Ultra myself. I don't like the Ultra. I like these better, so hopefully they keep re uh, releasing these. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. This is probably the last Apple Watch update on this one that I will have ever on this channel, unless I decide to do another one in a couple of years. It just depends. So we'll see you guys in the next video.